Let's continue this problem. This time we want to find out midpoint between these two given points. So last video we talked about mostly how to find distance between these two points. Now this time we focus on finding the midpoint. So when I look at this segment carefully, I can guess midpoint is around here. And then this midpoint, when I draw a triangle like last time we did distance between these two points, so this distance must be equal to this distance here. So it looks like this is like an average between two x coordinate and two y coordinate. So just using the uh, average formula to find x coordinate and the y coordinate. So x case, so x meet, I can say 1 plus negative 2 over 2, so become negative 1 over 2. And then y meet, I can see 5 plus negative 4 over 2, so become 1 over 2. So, now I can guess this midpoint will become negative 1 over 2 and then 1 over 2. Or, you can use as a decimal, negative 0.5 and then 0.5 here. Then, uh, let's talk about whether they really have the same distance. If it is, then we can, we can finalize and confirm this formula is correct midpoint formula, right? Okay, so I provided on the, on below here. So I already made two columns and then make distance between these two points. Okay, so we'll try the left side first. So in this case, t equal to negative two minus negative 0.5 square plus negative 4 minus 0.5 square of course don't forget square root then this become square root negative 1.5 square plus negative 4.5 square if you calculate this, it will be square root 22.5 and approximately it become 4.743 like that. Okay, so let me try the right side one too. So I'm going to use different color so you can see a little better. So d equal to square root 1 minus negative 0.5 square plus 5 minus 0.5 square so in this case square root 1.5 square plus 4.5 square therefore this also come out square root 22.5 so that we approximate this also become 4.743 here so, as you see, so we just go back what we did here. Finding midpoint, we try to find average between two x values and make x coordinate, and two y values and make two uh, y coordinate. And as a result, we double check with the distance here, then it is called a formula. Therefore, now we can finalize the midpoint formula. So if two points x1, y1, and x2, y2 are given, the midpoint becomes x1 plus x2 over 2, and then y1 plus y2 over 2. That will be the midpoint formula.
Then let's do one more question. So given point 4,7 and negative 4, negative 1. Now we want to try to find midpoint of these two points here. So now we know this formula already. So I totally uh, apply this formula this time. So this becomes 4 plus negative 4 over 2 and then 7 plus negative 1 over 2. Therefore, midpoint becomes 0 over 2 comma 6 over 2. So, the answer becomes 0 comma 3 here. Okay, so when you finalize midpoint, you must write as an order pair or a coordinate. The reason is, this is a point. You just give me x equals 0 and y equals 3, then you actually give us one vertical line and one horizontal line. So that's not the right answer. You must write using order pair. Okay?